wait for a few people coming on. Yeah, all right. My oh, yeah, hair's got thicker, you know. I've noticed that since I took all them vitamins in a few months. It's got thicker, my hair. Helicopter patch is still getting away. <laughs> 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 Look, I'm hungry as hell. Pretty tired, mate. It's all you. Oh. Yeah. You've seen change. Is anyone there yet? Not once for yes and twice for no. <laughs> Here's someone. Can you hear me? Three, one. There we go. Simon Amber. Hello, Simon, my friend. Hello, Sam. <laughs> How are you doing, mate? We hope everything works out right, Sam. Yeah, you can hear as he said. Yeah. yeah Good lad. Good lad. Just wait for a few more getting on, sorry. Beautiful weather, isn't it? So, <laughs> how would you know? You've been something else while I've been turning the garden over. <laughs> the back's that can easy to tell you. Uh, oh. oh, I can't actually drive an ounce. It's absolutely murder, it is. Yeah. Don't mind me. No. I can tell I've you. I, I keep up the quick people at the way. <laughs> I've always been active, yeah. and you know, and that's, that's, that's the way I am. I just, I can't sit about. Only on these podcasts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, I beg your pardon. Give it a, bit, a few more. Come on, guys. Come on. Then at the tea signs, we're going to talk about Terry and his day and what he got up to in a mean. It's going to be fun. Well, Steve Packard days, all the laughs there. Uh, oh, that's going to be coming on. All the fun I had over the board of being a kid. Um, yeah. You know, great, great towns, marvellous community, yeah. great friends. Sadly, many have left us. And um, I think it's always nice to give them a shout, you know. Mention our friends. You know, I've got friends who've died 40 odd years ago, which I still think about them on a regular basis, and they're uh, good. You know, it's really good. Cool. Cool. You look like you've got the sun, Terry. Yeah, yeah, I do. I get, like that. He dropped it red yeah, hot. I, get, I, I, get the, I do get the sun easy. Yeah. And a couple more. My dad, dad was the same. My dad was very like calm. Yeah, I'm waiting for an older. <laughs> I'm waiting for an older day. Yeah. I'm waiting for my nephew to come back. I think they want to take me to a beta. <laughs> <laughs> you all just swinging yeah, in yeah. town. John, John I, know, I know you're not Italian. <laughs> I'm just waiting. Oh. <laughs> Good lad, him the other week, John Elite. We had yeah, really yeah. lovely gentleman, Gary um, Taz for um, Carol. Just a soldier. So, yeah. well, when I tell people he's a real life Rambo, he yeah. is a real life Rambo. Yeah. He plays it down. He doesn't big well, himself up and often. He's just somebody. Do you know what I love? Do you know what I love, yeah. Brian? I love, honestly. I right, here we go. Yeah. Right there. Uh, we're back again, Brad Crottle's tax man show. My pal for a long, long time. Teddy goes back by popular yeah. demand. Everyone loves him. Everyone if they knows him. Teddy, um, can we just go back to when you were a kid? What was the best laughs you had and the bits of fun? And well, I just see, I just see the funny side of everything. And uh, there's one thing for certain, and I'll put my hands up. I was one mischievous little bee. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I was up to all sorts, but I've never. Um, you do look like him up there. Of oh, Keslo. <laughs> <laughs> People don't know the film. Casper, Billy Casper, Casper, yeah. yeah. It was a film about yeah, 1964. Yeah. I think it was a bit of that. Brilliant film, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, and, and, and you think about that film and you think about how people were brought up. And that's how happened. And that's, that was the same. And that's how we yeah. were brought up all the yeah. level. Yeah. You didn't have a lot of money, yeah. did the mums and dads? And you just had to get up and yeah. what you did. A kid, a, a kid in school bared daft. Well, I would bared daft. You know, yeah. I'd climb everywhere for pigeons, risking my life for the skim up the gaslights. But I've always been, uh, uh, me, um, I've always been very honest and very, very uh, loyal. I don't, don't kiss people's uh, backsides. Backside, yeah. I don't uh, look up to people. I, and I certainly don't look down at people. Sometimes in life, we all go through bits of whatever, and, you know, but if you can be honest and true to yourself and help people along the way, I think that's a quality of life. And it, for me, it was ingrained in from, from our parents. They're absolutely yeah. fantastic parents. But over the border where I was from, most people like that, because we were brought up with nothing and... Um, we took advantage of every given situation. The fruit warehouse is, um, well, first of all, the, the, the biscuit factory down on the dock. So the biscuit factory? Yeah, well, it, well I, don't, just I, made biscuit, I, I don't think they made them there. I think oh, they the stored them there, but we right. knew it was the biscuit factory, and it had a fire. Did you pick up a thing, mate? No, we just, <laughs> no, we got boxes of club biscuits. <laughs> Never got a thing. Club, club, club biscuits. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but, and, 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 you know, where the old dance walk was. And we'd go down there, and for years it was there, and then we'd have the fire and check what we want. But it was always an opportunity, but the fruit warehouse is down there, and all my friends who were, you know, not sure I was John Graham, Ronnie Ball, and my cousin, all the lads, you know, Sean Simpson, God bless him, been gone 40-odd years. Marvellous, marvellous people. 
and uh, we got the fruit warehouses and they dropped the wares off about um, two in the morning. Well, you know, you'd have cherry, <laughs> just everything, every type of fruit. And they got that bad once. We we had a fight with plums. Because <laughs> they could eat them. <laughs> <laughs> when they flew, they clean them up the coppers. All oh, right. And, and over the border, you had, you had the border whistle. <whistles> it was actually blind. Frankie's just one called Frankie Granger. It was actually blind. And many times I'd see him outside the, the police public house. And was that the call and, to watch out the police? Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, and whistling. And the cop was picked up on our whistle net start whistling. <laughs> we, we, the lads are whistling. We, we, we made the net so it was quick to get away. There was a skip boat everywhere. And we went over the two cops stood behind the wall. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, marvellous. You can't say the best days of your life, finally, when you're just a kid. Well, but, yeah, we yeah. were stigmatised all, stigmatized yeah. all our life, Brian, that yeah. um, people would... Um, you know, them locked over there, the this, the that, the other. We were yeah. a different breed, I think. And um, oh, yeah, that, we had four yeah. heads or, yeah. or don't go over the boards, a rough joint. But it was a rough place. Of course, where Middlebury began, yeah. uh, stigmatised all our lives. Now they call it Middle Haven. Mm. But anyone of, of our age knows it's over the border. Yeah. And, you know, there's good quality of people come come from over the border. Although we, 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 we had feuds, you know, certain families had feuds and we all have fallouts. Yeah. It's when you get on in life and you get older and you realise to yourself that you don't, um, it doesn't matter. No. It really is irrelevant. Said, 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 it's said, irrelevant. Yeah. But I, I've always said this, and I mean this, is that, you know, when I did community projects over there, mm. I loved it. But someone said, oh, Teddy, you've done a marvellous job. I put a park in for the kids. Yeah. Built my log cabin, five side pitch, yeah. uh, badminton court, put flowers on, made picnic benches. And I've mentioned this many times, but, you know, this is over 20, 20 odd years, but if you can go out your way and instill goodness in the kids and push them in the right direction, they can achieve anything if they put their minds to it. So, you know, instead of people, you know, I've, I've been in pubs many times, people, you've got people say, oh, do you know him? Do you know him? He does this and he does that. And one, you know, I'm in a pub one day and the guy said to a friend of mine, uh, Pat B, he said to a friend of mine, David Ward, don't just talk about this, be like him. Go and do it. At that time, I was doing the, um, well, they've got the Green Tree pub up. Yeah. And uh, nice people, but I don't know because my dad drank there. The people who took over in the end weren't so nice and I never got all my stuff back. Yeah. But it was do also. You think, do you know when you were doing the project, you were saying the kids helped you? And do you notice that I built that when I built kids and things, when you give them a bit of pattern, like, oh, you've done brilliant. It's so achievement. Help they paint the fence or do something. Yeah. Good. We you, don't you, you've done that. Yeah. And yeah, you yeah. go away, proud on it. Well, so I, 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 I had a fish pond in my garden, and um, I, I think um, the kids are having a little bit of dispute. Anyone make uh, damage that bench, we'll, yeah, um, it, we'll kill yeah. them. Yeah. And because I didn't still the goodness of the make that, but I, just getting the kids involved, you know, and just. I, I even had a little girl. Uh, I don't know, well, she might have been five year old or what at the time, Megan um, McGuinness. And I'm looking, I'm, I'm in my bedroom looking out the window, and I used to give her a pound to pick the litter up on the grass. Just yeah. me, my way of giving the kids yeah. a quid. Be three, three or four of them, I'd give them a quid each. And one day I looked out my bedroom window and I seen Megan with a bag of rubbish, pawn on the field. Uh, Next one struck me, oh, Teddy Dicko, Teddy Dixon, I went, yeah, like that, like a little old woman. Watch Teddy your, Dixon, I went, watch your woman. Well, she went, uh, I'd blow the rubbish out there. I said, you little twat. Yeah. I've just said you pour it out. Yeah. <laughs> She's not, I am now. <laughs> Give her the quid. <laughs> but, <clears throat> going out the way and doing things. And, you know, and, and like, did, you, did you do much with your brothers now? Or were you were your friends more? No, I, mean, I was always with my friends. But my brother, yeah, I, I was. Stephen, me, innit? I was, Steve, I was lovely, lad. I was Stephen. It, it just gone to, I don't know where it is, but it's the highest uh, pub in, in, um, in Britain. Right. Someone said to me in Richmond, I don't know, I don't know right, any high right. ground down there, but right. the CI is put and the go. Yeah, they're seen. sleeping in the car, they're gonna get drunk and sleep in the yeah, car, but yeah. I don't know Bobby's go up there lock them all up. But yeah, it's um uh, my brother my brother's always been a grafter as well, all our family have, and uh, we've always had good arts. Yeah, it's a business, doesn't he? Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. They won't skip uh, business. Yeah, yeah, skip. Yeah, Funny one. enough, you know, I was out with him yesterday. He said, I, would say, I was down the yard getting some some timber for some some um, other bits I had down there. Oh, he had a run with me, said he took me to Redka. Yeah. And um, 
as we pulled up, there was a copper from Middlesbrough Police. And he had a cap on. And when they pulled the cap off, I went, all right. He went, oh, hello, Terry. I didn't know I didn't know um, you, you were in the skip game. I said, I'm not. It's me brother. Yeah. But I'd like to just say that, Bobby. Don't ever be alarmed that um, I know where you live. Because no. that life's over, mate. Yeah, of course. I've got a very... Int- I, I was crazy, dangerous, and daft as a brush at times. Yeah, but we don't go to people's houses. No, no, no. Do we? Wife and kids always... Never done that. Wife and kids always come first. Oh, but anyway... Um, you know, like people going on podcasts and they say that this, that, and that. I've never been into all like that. Yeah, of course. I've come on here with Brian. We speak the truth. We speak honestly. Some bit of fun. And I don't want to uh, yeah. mislead anyone. If any kids out there need any support, anyone want any projects doing, and need some doing, I'm an expert at everything. I'll get stuck into anything and I'll help anyone. And I'm give my hammer and nails and build an ark. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, <laughs> so good he is. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, so I enjoy. I enjoy going on the way and helping people. I'm not in. I don't come on on this podcast or any, you know, to to uh, put people down. You know, there's plenty of things we can say, but it doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. No. My life's moved forward. Um, I'm not think, in the habit of slagging Terry, people. Do you think um, God's been in your life? Uh, yeah, well, well, I like in my life to be honest. I've said before, I was running with the devil, Brian. Yeah, I was crazy. I was wild. I was just too wild. Me own good. And to be truthful with you, I got four years in prison. Yeah. Crazy. And I, and I deserved it. Yeah. I deserved it. I'm well, glad you said that because some people go, oh, no, I deserved I'm it. jail for now. I'm and, and, no, you went hey. to jail because you committed a crime and you yeah, got caught. Yeah. And hey, that. anybody out there, I was in tears when they shut that door tonight. Exactly. And you know what I said to myself? How oh, the F did I end up in here? Yeah, and you go in there, you don't realize how bad it is until that yeah. door shuts yeah. and you hear it and you go, well, big thud, and you're like in there, yeah. horrible. And, and then you realize, you know, I didn't know where I was, what I was well, doing, I was blocked. But you are. You're waking up with cockroaches waking, walking on we, your face. We were talking to John Elite the other week yeah. from, from America. Yeah. Lovely bloke who was in, in the mafia and everything. He said the same. He said it was wasn't it wasn't it was the the old and I said exactly yes because yeah. you don't want somewhere you've never been. It's not yeah. a good place to be. It's not not and I said doesn't any want, doesn't want kids to follow what he's any, any young lads old, out there. Yeah. You know we 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 we've been out many times. We've had young lads come up to us. And we always have a laugh with them. And uh, you know I, I, when the years bad when I said the kid. He, there's Brian and uh, Terry there, and I said, "I said this is the man who pinched your chocolate lightly." Well, the kid was alarmed, uh, shit, and I went, "I'm on." We don't always do the pigeons. We don't, we don't, Brian, he's the one who pinched your pigeons over there. Yeah, I didn't drive. Never had pigeons in my life. <laughs> I'm winding them up. But, but, Lee Duffy was always, the same money. Lee yeah, was yeah. always winding people. Yeah. He was a funny lad. Lee he was really, really fast, really quick witted, really, really streetwise. And that's, I think that's why I miss him so much. You he know, was and fun, I think, yeah. and I think that. When people are talking about people are saying, is this, that, and the oh, other? But well, I think it's important. That. It's important and right that we correct that and we say about the man that we knew who was our You friend. know a lot more than me. Hey, Lee. listen, it, listen. You love you, Lee, you know that. Lee, Lee done wrong. We can't, and I certainly wouldn't, paper over the cracks and say, oh, you know, he's done this or he's done that. Oh, he's such, ever, such a nice lad. Because he was a twat, just like I was a twat. Yeah. But he had a good, good side and I think it's important that people get to know that good yeah. side and people realise that all this crap, and, all this yeah. fighting, it doesn't matter. No. It's irrelevant. Go out your way and do something correct and do something right. You know, I was watching that um, a kid from Liverpool who went over to um, Sierra alone to give them a water and you know, do water for them. Yeah, Marvellous. Yeah, credit brilliant. to the lads. Full credit. I don't have to yeah. mention the lad's name. Yeah. Maybe he doesn't like that. But yeah, what a good lad good, he is. Yeah. Good, good on the kid. Yeah, he is. Well, good on him. To do that. I say, I say, I say, tell you, yeah. we live in the 21st century, they're about sending people yeah. to Mars, a dead planet. <coughs> when there's trillions of pounds going to be wasted, there's people dying of thirst. Listen, over, dying of thirst in Brian, the one of the richest countries, one of the richest countries for the resources they've got there and the minerals they've got there. And the British, the Dutch, and you know, the French took everything out there. But, yeah. you know, the reckon is one of the biggest water reserves underground. To in Africa, yeah, you know, it's the yeah, greed the of these multi-billionaires yeah. got all chipped together. Yeah. No one first in hunger in this day and age, and people live in the streets, come obsessed with these army lads. Like yeah. we talked uh, oh. from Gary the day, Taz Carroll yeah. and his friends of his, and loads of these army lads suffering. It's sad, stress, it's sad. They don't get enough. They don't get enough. They don't get enough they care. Home and lots of them are killing themselves. Do it. It's terrible. Yeah. Well, all that. And they put. You can't give more than your life. Disorder. Yeah, you can't put more. And fight for your country, put your life. Gary got blown up, nearly got killed, could have been killed a hundred yeah. times. Lovely lad, and he put his life on the line, but they don't seem to think, they don't care enough. For <coughs> well, my cousin went out there, he'd done a tour of uh, Afghanistan, uh, Neil Fairclough, my, my cousin, and um, I said, I wouldn't go, Neil. He said, No, the money's good. I said, We might get the chance to spend it. 
But so, you know, like they go up there, they put the, the neck on the line, the risk and all that. You know, and I, th I think I think they should they should be given more. Okay. But funny enough, you know, Brian, okay. I was up at um, the police headquarters over my case I've had running for years. Yeah. And it's still going on. I'll never yeah. let it go. But anyway, I was up there and a guy pulled up. I told my solicitor to go because um, him with a patch on his eye, the pirate. Oh, Buster. yeah, yeah. yeah Buster. Buster was coming for me. Mm. You know he's the pirate. He's still got his patch on his right. eye. He says, why do you call me a pirate? It's because you're out. <laughs> 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 anyway, this kid, I can't remember his name. He pulled up, he was in the yeah. jack. Are you all right, Terry? I went, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. What are you doing? I said, well, I've just been in there over me, my son's case, what I've been at for years. Yeah. He went, I said, what are you doing? He said, well, there's some land at the back of uh, the place over at Cove yeah. Massive lump of land. And he was turning it into um, a therapy centre for soldiers. I said, credit, oh, straight brilliant. away, credit to you. Absolutely Good brilliant. on you. And, you know, whether, you know, I would imagine he's a businessman. You know, but credit to him, you know, I think they can't do enough for them, or they should do a lot more for them, sorry. I mean, the Vivian and Warren, there's one like we, we, yeah. we spoke to him, 13 years, it was over there, 12 years, and then Warren, yeah. 13 years in the army, and living on the streets with no shoes, terrible, terrible. Well, I've seen, I've been all over the world, Brian, and uh, I was in Barbados, and um, we had a laugh about it, but uh, this big black guy was following us, the soles of his feet were like that with hard skin. And someone said, it's like a bottle. He won't follow us now. I said, well, them swords will crush it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but big loud mouth on him. And then you see him yeah. Rastafari and go up Nelson Street. Yeah. And they called it the street but doesn't sleep. There's a guy on the bike and his beard, dreadlocked beard, down to the floor. Yeah. And as you well, say, you're watching caught in that wheel. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. And you, you look at things and you think to yourself, mm. what have they got in life? Yeah. You know, they've got nothing. I'm still happy to land though. Well, and, and, I, 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 well I was in Gambia in Africa. Yeah. And uh, the, 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 the home, I'm not being disrespectful. I've seen better um, sheds on allotments of many banks when there in other places. Yeah. It was a mud floor. And of course, we give them, you know, you look after people. But these kids were sleeping there. But you got to say this as well. Them kids are sm always smiling, always happy. Yeah. You see it on the telly that's or the news. God, that's because God's in there. A lot of the world well, I think that. Up yeah, there. I believe and I think in that. they're happy because of God. They've got nothing. But they've, got, they've got faith. They've, they've got, got faith. faith. The faith, that's yeah. the most important thing. If you've yeah. got faith, then you've got everything. Because you can obviously you can rely on God. He's all yeah. yeah. You do your prayers. Me and Terry have done prayers and they've come true every yeah. time, haven't they? And no when I ask for all, I usually get it. And uh, people think, oh, is he off his box or whatever. You can't ask for wealth. You can't ask for yeah. a lottery ticket. You can't think, yeah. oh, you can ask like, yeah. to give me peace. Yeah. Let me be happy. Um so. Well, I'll be honest with you, Vern. I thought I'm skint this week. I could do the field, good Lord, and it's come. Yeah. And I'm yeah. thank Lord. Oh, thank, we have, we thank have, you very have, much. We've done that. Yeah. Right. Not answering the day, though, are you? Yeah. <laughs> 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 we had our friend round last night, Tony Grange. He's a brilliant bloke. Yeah, he's, lovely, lovely guy. He's really. He's, he installs in yeah. goodness in people. Yeah. He loves and everybody. And if, you if you're watching, Tony, you know, we all can ask God for help. If you ask him, I might come and do your garden. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's done his own. He's done it good. We've been up, haven't we? Yeah. Haven't yes. we been up there? You yes. can't well, say. I won't. myself walked in because I was walked in to do yeah, the garden. Yeah, Jody Granger, I've got there. It's a lot smaller. It's a lot. And it's, it's a lot of hard it's work. It's like, uh, <laughs> it's like, you should have told me because I love, I, love, I love to volunteer. Tony, Tony Green, and his wife sitting like that. Tony, oh, Jerry, oh, Johnny's way. Tony, can you hear that? Terry Dick goes well, Look at this way, look at this way, look at the goodness what he's done. Oh, he's he out, he's a lad he's about brilliant, town. Brilliant. He's gone out his way, he's now his pastor. Oh, why he's out, he's why out of church. Credit to him. I love Tony because he tells you the truth. And that's, that's what I like. He just tells you the raw truth. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. have no embarrassment, no nothing. He and tells not, you the truth. People shouldn't be ashamed. People no. Should, people should be We've able to Who hasn't seen Castle Festo? And that's one of the best yeah. things I always say. Yeah, no, you get have... people living green house, living there, glass houses, throw stones. But at the end of the day, we're all in the same world. I tell you, we're all in the same boat. We all bleed. You're we all one. cry. Yeah. We all should be helping each other. You're, that's you're, what we should be doing. Well, I think this, this, it's this, COVID's this. coming to an end now, as, as you know. And, uh, it's time now to start helping each other again, I think. I really do. All this depressing people I've had sitting about the house. We've got Steve Norton coming on next week, who's a psychologist. Yeah. Absolutely clever. Man. I wonder what he'll make for me. Kev, 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 Kev uh, knows him really well. He said he's a, 
he's really good. Yeah. The full train uh, uh, therapist, he's, we've had him before, he's a brilliant lad, he's coming on. We just, I think we're I just think getting that, good yeah. people all the yeah. time coming on. And you know, that's the point. We've got your like, friend coming on, Shui Armstrong as well. That's, that's yeah, Shui's a lovely guy. Yeah. That, and, and there's another thing with Shui, I've got to say thank you and thank you very much, Shui. I wrote the book for my little girl, um, and Shui's, you know, I couldn't get it finished, but God bless you. He said, I'll, I'll do it for you, Terry. It's only 29 or 28 pages about um, the insects in the garden, which she absolutely loved. Yeah. But I've let her down and I've got to get it's it not done. No, I've let her down. It's just that it, it just doesn't happen. It's no, well, happen. yeah, it didn't happen. I'm not going to go into the yeah. detail why. We'll all let her down. But yeah, yeah, but. We, but we got, you're better than I know. Of course. I, look, at, he said, I said, someone said, we're not going into that. Of course. You yeah. know, I'm not giving anyone any space. I've got nothing bad to say about anyone. And you're I doing wish, good, yeah. And the people are loving it. That's oh, how so many people are watching I wish, it. I wish everyone happiness and love in life. That's and my life's totally well changed. Even though I am in the dugout today with my little missus. Yeah. I'm thinking of trading in, you know. <laughs> She'll come running. <laughs> oh, Terry, I'm sorry. Oh, come here, darling, give us a kiss. Get out of it. <laughs> uh, that, he is that, a joker. That just got me out the house another three months. <laughs> yeah, it, the dog house is broken. You can stay in hours if you want. The dog thing's coming down. Uh, you yeah. just know about that, yeah? It's another job for him. <laughs> you know, some, no, we went and uh, run poor, poor, bugger, bugger. Run ragged, he's a great kid. Sometimes you just can't win with a woman. <laughs> no, you can't. Can yeah. you remember? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to agree to disagree. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but, but getting, some, getting aside to everyone, we're just there. Uh, we love the good day to day. Fantastic. Some, sometimes, you know, you just take the blame. It's easier. Yeah. It really is easier. Just take so the blame. Our friend Brom's been on the phone. Yeah. And he's yeah. a lovely nice guy. To speak love him a bit. Nice he's, to speak he's, he's like a son to me. I'd like um, to say, I'd like to say, sorry, yeah, Brian. Yeah, sorry. I'd like to say a big hello to my old pal, <coughs> Steve Bell. Um, I never text you back still. Uh, I was, I've been busy. Uh, sorry about that. But look, uh, bygones are bygones, mate. You know, I've done you a favour. We love it Steve Bell, don't we? Yeah, it's good it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. You're, you're my pal and that's it. Life's so short, as you said. Yeah. I wish you all the best, mate, and take care of yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So so come along, Brian. Yeah, yeah. what, um, yeah. We're going back to when you were a kid again, sir. What was well, What was the most scariest thing as a kid? Can you remember that? To be honest with you. Yeah. Was it probably having to go with your dad? You no, 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 no. I had marvellous no. pens and, you know, I, I was a defiant kid, but um, I was just determined kid. Was but, it going to jail maybe then? Was that the scariest probably? Uh, no, I, I will. No. Yeah, it was bad, the unknown. But yeah. I tell you what was for me being a kid, uh, being scared. Look, I'm 64 coming up, and uh, yes, I look well. I, I, I wear the oily old lady. It was not too late, but <laughs> uh, I I uh, I was petrified of the dark. Right. Petrified of the dark until in my twenties as well. You know, I'm not ashamed to admit it. Mm. I have an uncle called Peter Robinson. And he'd lock us in the cupboard, get in there, you little whatever. He'd yeah. lock me in well, the cupboard. It, though, it? And then go, woo, the bogeyman's out there, Dicky Dark. Yeah. I didn't know Dicky Dark. Well, Dicky's <laughs> idol from Stokesley. <laughs> well, Just if you're the out phone. there, we've been on the phone. If you're out there, Dicky, you're asking. Yeah. <laughs> well, Dicky Dark. Good lad, good friend. Yeah, he'll be like And if you want rid of your dog, just tie it to his gear post. Yeah. <laughs> he'll, he'll, he'll sell you the fastest. He's the only one. man I know could sell you the dog. Ten and now we're late. The dog was back in his house. <laughs> <laughs> he, had, he had the dog straight to come back to his house. I thought when his said, pigeons done that. He'd go, best dog I've ever had. I'm telling them, I'm telling them about I'm telling you. I went in the pub one day, we were all sat there, laid up in that, and we were all having a laugh. And I went, don't mention dogs, pigeons, and like horses. I'm, like, I'm sick of being about so. For 20 minutes, they all sat. Nobody said a word of it. I'm just talking about the better than pigeons. How's your dog, Dickie? Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. All the travellers were up there, it was funny. Yeah, me and Lee went. We <coughs> me and Lee, Lee was on there. He couldn't go to Teesside. Yeah. We used to go up there. with Sean, Sean Day was there. Yeah. Well, I, uh, I, was, I was up Mark, there. Mark Hartley. Well, I was just, 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 just going to yeah. mention Mark there. I was up with my brother there. Brilliant, brilliant lad, Mark. Last really week, good lad. I had a room with my brother. Um, Fantastic. And lad. we went, we went past Mark's, and uh, I said, "There's Mark. And we're coming back. There's Mark on the front." Yeah. Yeah, good lad. Yeah. He's. Um, Really nice lad. We've had, had some laughs. Son's a lovely yeah, kid. Yeah, 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 lovely kid. lovely lad. Me and Sean used to go and see him when he was a kid. Well, because he's of... eating ice cream with Liam when he was a kid. Boy, he came a top fight and a lovely lad. Yeah. He's got his legs. Like, he's well, into Jesus as well now. Well, so because, because of really Brian, nice well, I mentioned earlier, yeah. he went in the army, he went to Afghanistan. Yeah. He's married to um, Mark's daughter. Oh, right, right, right. Whether they're still together, I don't right, know. Right, but, you yeah. know, 
But uh, yeah, it's it's nice to get back with people who you haven't seen for a oh, long time. I mean, you know, people like only people. <coughs> I'm not causing trouble with you. <coughs> a lot of people that fell out with family members and things like that. But the worst well, thing geez. you can do is you fall out with them and then they pass away. And then, yeah. you, and then you don't see well, you, 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 you regret yeah. it for the rest yeah. of your life. I lost my brother uh, yeah. 31 years ago, Brian. Died by heart attack. I still shed tears for him. Yeah. It was a memoriam on the. Uh, <coughs> I beg your pardon. <coughs> it was a memoriam on the um, 18th of March. My mum's on the 13th of March. God bless her. But just think, as um, me and my brother Stephen are friends again. Yeah. It's life's too short. Of course, I've said that. So, anybody out there who, you know, sometimes it's hard and difficult. I've said the family man, but look, okay, let's just forget it. I got told to go and do one. Yeah, but, so, yeah, but things, things in life what are hard. What's make us amends on sometimes. Well, some Thank people, some people like. can't do that. I mean, look, you're a better person if you say, look, I'm sorry. I'll take yeah, my of course you've got to, I've done Doesn't things matter. before. I've had fights where I've been somebody that's been the wrong person. Or yeah. Grab someone and shout at them. I've gone back. Apologise. Well, Bought them flowers and give them chocolates. You know what I mean? Just well, I, 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 was out the other, I was out the other week and the kid asked, where are you from? It was his job up at Destin. Yeah. Just having a run with my brother. And he said, um, I said, where are you from? He said, I'm from Yam or so and so. And got mentioned chatting away. He knew the lads I know and chatting away. I said, Do you ever go to the steam pack? He went, Oh, you what? I went to the steam pack at one night and that big <laughs> beginning with B, he started with B and all the way through B. He he walloped me, he walloped him. <laughs> 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 and he was, <laughs> and then he went, Yeah, look at the gash there, it was him. <laughs> I said, I said, look, I said, he's a good lad, he'll apologize. No, I did, he, he couldn't. He, he probably bought me a drink. I said, that's Brian. I said, yeah. you maybe he's gone in the way, son. Yeah, when you're fighting sometimes, in the old days, the clubs are packed, especially with Teddy's, and you'll be fighting someone. If somebody's coming in, you just yeah, throw a punch. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've had a few times. Oh, the West Indian. And that's when the, the other one's the banging into you. Well, the West Indian, somebody can do is if they grab your arms, you can't defend yourself. Yeah. So yeah. grab their arms, not my arms. And that's yeah, right, and then yeah. they're doing all the shouting afterwards. Yeah. Jordan Nixon said, can you give Lee Elliott a shout out because all he does, he loves you to the day. So just to Jordan Nixon and Lee Elliott. Jordan Nixon, Lee Elliott, Ev, we love you a bit, son. I love you more, even though you didn't mention me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, great, it's great. <coughs> we, get kids, we get people coming on wanting to Yeah, that's good, it's I, nice, it's nice to show people, people, people out. People do it, yeah. that's for money, I do it for nothing, I'll go on and say, happy birthday today for me, Listen, Brian Cockrell, just, just to be a, nice. And, that's, that's a goodness if yeah, you can do course. that. Look, we've all had done things wrong, we all regret things. But what is wrong with giving someone a shout out? Yeah. There's no, nothing wrong. I'd just like to say hello to Rob Holloway and, and tell Danny, I hope he's out soon. He's up, he's, he's pal, oh, pal Danny. Oh, you uh, mentioned him. Yeah. I love like Hello, Robbie. All right, mate. Yeah, he's pal Danny. He's uh, my pal as well now. He's getting out soon, so we're going to be seeing each other. I can't wait to see him. He's a really good kid. Well, so, uh, I, yeah, don't, just, I don't know what the situation is yeah. at this moment, Brian, yeah. but our other friend, uh, Charlie Bronson. No, I wish you all the best, Charlie. I don't know what's yeah, going on with you. Yeah, of course we yeah. Twins double on the UE saying hello, and he's actually he's from Sheffield. His dad was from Viper, but he lives in um the USA. He's just drove through Dallas and that, so I mentioned our friend David there. Oh, yeah, in David, Oklahoma. David's well, David, he David, says, David, he's David, watching yeah. as he's he said, Love yeah. the show, and oh, that's so, brilliant. As yeah, in America. Great. Yeah. That's brilliant. So we was that uh, David Ashton, Paul? No, 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 just Twins another ball. Yeah, 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 hello, yeah, hello, mate. Hello. Hello. All right, yeah. mate. Dallas is that, that's where they are. Dallas, isn't it? Sure. Yeah, like a rhinestone cowboy. <laughs> yeah, you're right, mate. <laughs> yeah, 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 nice, nice. Same people speaking. from Australia, Canada, America, all the world are watching. People from everywhere. That's, 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 we're, going, we're going global now. We're everywhere. Just went for the Eskimos to, to, to say hello. They <laughs> 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 can't get the end of the <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, we've been I think, everywhere. I, I, I think it's crazy to see you, Brian, what you're doing, you know. And, what, and I think what people can understand, though. <coughs> I beg your pardon. Where, where this, um, where you've come from, mm. the violent background, you know. Of course. But you were never a bully. You were, you know, no. you were a fighter. Yeah. You know, and, and if it could, you didn't go look for it, if it come for you, you dealt with it. And I think that's how a lot of us have been. Yeah. You know, I was only a little, little uh, lad, so mm. I had to pick up a wall brick up to make me bigger. But whatever, that's in the past. Embarrassed, ashamed of my past life. Yeah. Paul Bray, getting, getting the shout out. So I say it's Paul Bray. Paul Bray, hello, mate. How are you doing, son? <laughs> yeah, if there's any more there, I want to shout out. Shout hello, hello, out. Paul. Take care of yourself, lad. Yeah. Um, any more there? So we'll just uh, ponder yeah, what we're talking about. Yeah, just wait a few. 30 minutes have gone already. This, 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 is a diff- <laughs> this is a podcast with a difference. Of course it is. It's like, 
you know, there's nobody on here bad mouthing anyone. There's no. nobody uh, down to put people down. And, I wish and everyone happiness and love and you know, and and credit to you. If you, but what I will say is that you know, if you can go out your way and do a good turn, that's God's goodness. Of course, it is. you go and do that, and you know, make and someone I, else happy. Yeah, and then what you say to that person, you help say, you now you'll pass it on. Yeah, you'll pass it on. Yeah. And that way, one yeah. day everyone's helping each other. What we're on here to, uh, we come on here, we don't get paid for it, we don't get nothing. We come on here to make people's life a bit happy and people are happy, especially with this lockdown thing. Yeah, on. yeah. And people yeah. are still watching, they love the show. They're yeah, all asking for Terry or Kevin because they really know the area and the people, yeah. the, the old school, they're loving like, Yeah, but kids. are they asking after me more than Kevin? I need to know. Yeah, yeah, they are, Terry, yeah. <laughs> Hello, Kevin. I know you're Kevin, watching. Kev I'm only joking. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing Prince Stubble said thank you for that. He currently lives in El Paso, California. Thank you very much. I'm in the West, West, West Texas, Texas town of El Paso. I fell in love with the Mexican girl. We all sing that. Yeah, we all. Marty Robbins. I'm the right twins. Yeah, Marty Robbins, yeah. Good job, that. Yeah. Me and Emma. She picked the, yeah, picked the good one. It looked like a good one. That's the one, Terry. He knows. We There's a, we've got the trio now. We're going to do a trio, so we do it in the car for that. Uh, I've see seen you, sir. I couldn't see the same behind like, what? I've seen I'm you. laughing and joking. Everyone likes it. I've, I've seen you. I was in the bus something later. I've gone. Have you gone? Have you gone? No, no, I've gone. I've gone all the way now. I'm saying, yeah, but you make <coughs> everyone laugh because you're having the fun. I don't know after words, I'll make my own words yeah. that's what's yeah, fun we, about we it. Love, yeah. But the thing is, well, what we do in this podcast, what other people don't do is we do the mistakes. If somebody does something wrong, somebody parts on it, whatever, we'd still leave it on. Yeah, it's just yeah. we do it, so we leave it this raw. We don't mess about taking this out and putting that in and, and taking comments out and putting like, that on. Yeah. We just leave it you know, raw. Yeah, what, what I don't like is like yeah. the old ones that he said, I said, someone yeah, said. Yeah. I know what I've said, I know I'm honest and I'm straightforward. I'm not here to call or condemn people. No. So when I go out, Brian, I've said this before, and people I don't know if they're the word this, but what I've what I always say is when I go out, people say, Hey, it's Terry, have you read this? Have you read this? Have you read that? And I say, Stop, stop, yeah, stop. Yeah. If you're not going to tell them, please don't tell well, me. Christian I'm said, not interested in gossip. I don't want to know about bad news. I'm not interested at all. A guy once said to me, look at him over there at the bar with a walking stick. He's 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 got he's he's got a book, he's got he's on the invalidity. I said, So what? Well he puts his Walking six down and plays pool. I said, get away from me. Yeah, just, that, get that, away just, from just horrible, me. Horrible, vindictive people. Yeah. But what Frankie it is, Paul sends his best to you. Oh, Frankie. Hey, oh, Frankie, mate. Frankie, long yeah. time no see, me old pal. Michael Hall's passing the message on and said he hopes you'll keep well Yeah. Uh, okay, Michael. Yeah. I'm very yeah. good. Love, love Frankie. Love Frankie. Love look. Well, yeah, yeah. there, Frankie. Good, good crack. Yeah. The other mate, Dean. Good lad, Dean. Yeah, we're not. Because of God bless him. All from all over the place. Yeah. We know Peter, Peter Lee, uh, Frankie. Right. All, all good yeah, lads. Good lads. Right the Vince, Vince Paul. Vince Paul was his uh, brother. That's right. Someone He's right said, the can you say hi to Sean to come to the in recovery. Hello, Sean. I hope you get well soon, mate. God bless you. Yeah, same, same here. Yeah. Wish you all speedy recovery. Wish everything worked out right. Yeah. Yeah, hope everyone's enjoying themselves today. Beautiful weather in it, Terry. What a um, beautiful God, day. God, God's amazing. God does exist. And Jesus says, I've walked through the valley of the shadow of death, so I'll feel no evil. And that's, and right. that's what you've got to remember. He's with you all the time. If God's in your heart, <laughs> that's a shield. That shield yeah. there, you can't yeah. get through, yeah. can't penetrate and it. You know, and yeah. Jesus will save you. And, and you know, Jesus, Brian, if you right. walk in the yeah. footsteps yeah. of Jesus, yeah. you can't. He's the greatest man that ever yeah. lived. You know, and I've walked through the valley of the shadow yeah. of death, and exactly. I didn't feel evil, but and I haven't. I've, I've got God in my life, and, I, and I'm happy where I am. But I don't and want people to want to condemn Brian yeah. or say, oh, well, you know, this, that, oh, what about this? It's not, it doesn't it's matter. Pretty, pretty if you want to believe what you want to believe, that's okay. good on you. If you don't want to believe, that's okay as well. Yeah. You know, but I always say to people, just try and go along your way, do something, even if yeah. it's opening the door for an old lady. Yeah. Just try and do something good and positive in your life, yeah. and you'll find it makes you feel better, makes you, you go, feel you good. You got to bed over the other week when you found that money and the taxi, yeah, yeah. and it was all over. It was an old woman's yeah. pension, God yeah. bless her. 150 quid, I think was it was, yeah. and I, I, God bless her. Yeah. But I, you know, funny enough, I'd lost my phone the week after, and the same taxi van, which is Royal Cars, which our friends Our friends, yeah, Chef yeah. and uh, yeah. Marvin and all that. And everybody, the back, what's their place called? Oh, I can't remember, but we'll get yeah, out. Yeah, near the uh, Royal yeah. Taxis. They've got a new place there. It's on the bottom Marvelous. lane. Oh? Marvellous, isn't it? Marvellous. The food out this well, the, the, the seat and everything, is, it's going to be a shish kebab upstairs. Absolutely fantastic, lads, uh, Royal Taxi, the owners. Can you ask the lads? They're all my uh, brothers. Yeah. Can you ask the lads if they think what's missing today is community, are the old school types that made sure 
there were consequences for to do wrong, like robbing elderly, elderly and stuff. So he's asking yeah. what's missing from today's. I think well, what it is, no, I think respect. That, no respect. I think the respect's gone out with the well. We were brought up with kids, you wouldn't dare be cheeky. They'd say, Well, I was coming to your mouth, see your yeah. mum, you think, Oh, my mum's going to go mad. There's no respect. The kids are just left well, to do. I think what the kids are just left to do what they want. Yeah. The cheeky kids now. We wouldn't dare talk well, on the kids. Go to, school, go to school to get bonus points if they're good. Yeah. And I mean, you, to be honest with you, I was disrupting in school. And if I be here, I think I got maths twice a week. Um, twice on the, the day. Kid? You got the kids go. No, I wouldn't know me. I know I'm defying. <laughs> no, I would not. No, you're not kidding me. And I just yeah. do one three days later, go back and I was said. But uh, I wouldn't know me. I don't know. Right. And uh, but but to get bonus points. Yeah. You know, and I just think that's wrong. You know, no. that, that's wrong. L seven one, L seven one, who's a big fan of ours. Oh, he's a good lad. Yeah, right. yeah. He said, right. Um, how are you doing, my excess today with my lad, and with his son? He's fifty nine yeah. today. Thank you and God bless. So it's oh, happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday, happy birthday, birthday mate. Thank you very much, mate. I know you always follow me in there. Yeah. Uh, uh, thank you very much. And God how, bless how, old, you. how old is he? Fifty nine today. Fifty nine. I'm I'm sixty four on the fifteenth of May. I want to send someone around to give it's you the money. So people send cards to him, get him a drink. <laughs> And you'd be in the, uh, you'd be in the, what is it, the green tree? Yeah. <laughs> 64. <laughs> My missus is 31. But to tell you what, I think I'm going to have to trade her in. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, hope, I hope she's not watching it. Uh, that's a goal lot for a six month. Well, I'm not getting back in there. He's digging himself deeper and deeper. I'm going Richard back to be owner. Well, it costs you a fortune to get in that house. <laughs> Richard Wilde says, how are you to get? And um, does he remember me from Body Mix and working with the Cosy? Yeah, I do, Richard. Yeah. yeah, mate, of course I do. Yeah, I remember the old days. Um, that was up the stairs, wasn't it? Polly went to upstairs, wasn't it, Middlesbrough? He's got to go now. He said he's going to tune in next time. Stay safe. No problem, mate. God bless. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, that's American lads. Yeah. Thank you very much. Brian and Terry from, from Glasgow. So that's Darren Alton. Darren Alton, all right. I was yeah. born just on the road from you, about eight miles called Court Bridge. Up your way, you've Court Brig. So, but get some tatty scones on for me and some uh, stories. I'll be up there, mate. Well, it looks like I'm going camping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only the Scottish fell will know what that means. <laughs> you won't, well, I don't think they're giving much away. They're a bit like that up there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gary Carroll will be coming back. I'll be wanting Gary to get some stories off him. He knows how to cook. Yeah, good lad, Gary. Peter said, it's a great channel, so. <laughs> yeah, thank you Any very much, questions? anyone. Because this is turning into a bit of a questions one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good one. It's it's all good, questions, yeah, all good. questions answered. You know, when, when, there's when, no, I don't, I don't have to, I won't have to speak to me, yeah, barrister. Don't worry about this one. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. think there's a question. You've got a day off, David. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's a question for Terry about all the bar that I've seen earlier. Let me have a look. Um, so, what's that to do? Do you think Fury or Joshua? Me, I think um, Fury will definitely outbox him. I like Joshua, don't get me wrong, but I think he's a little bit stiff, a bit chinny, yeah. and I don't think he's got the stamina to go. He hasn't think, got the boxing I, I, skills. I think Tyson Fuel is absolutely... I think he's mad. You know, he comes out with things, he's not as... Tom he is. He's not, he's, yeah, yeah, he's not, you yeah. know, he's come out with things in the past, and I think he's been misled. Well, that, well, that, when, taken, when, when I was I think back, a lovely man. When, when lovely, I was lovely. we were going to see Peter uh, through AJ, the, the, the other lad, and Jamie does a few team, team Fury. They've offered us to go down there, but I think well, Tyson Fury's one of the person that'll be off the crack because he came out and said, Look, I suffer from mental health. I feel like doing myself. I, 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 like, I thought if he can see it and I can do it, and that's yeah, one of the reasons yeah. I come out yeah. because of what Tyson said. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and Mike Tyson and, people, and, and, and uh, George, sorry, yeah. not, um, you call him Frank Bruno, yeah. they were on the crack, they were on the drugs. So we're not saying Tyson was, but he was on drugs. And he's come out and told the truth. How yeah. would you feel? You can, Matter if you've got a hundred million. Well, that's what that, I said. It doesn't matter how much money you've got, because that's once that storm comes, it's there that depression. You, know, <clears> you can get it at five year old or ninety five year old. It's a horrible thing to have. Well, can I say this, Brian? Yeah. Is that uh, you know depression is a horrible thing, and uh, I so personally I suffer from post traumatic stress disorder, and I get flashbacks. Um, I've got a massive story to tell, and I will tell it one day. But um, yeah, the issue is, is that people, um, if Tyson Fury can come out and say what he said. And you know where he's come, he's come from death's door. Yeah, he's so where he was, then he put all that weight on, and he come well, back. To come yeah, back. Credit, that, 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 credit, credit. That, that weight, what he had on, was unbelievable. He was really bad. He was ill. You could see he was ill, but at least the man had the credit to come back. You know that night when he went down. I'm not going to put my hand up. I didn't think he was going to get back up when Deontay Wilder hit him. Yeah. But Jesus was in that night, and that's why he's a Christian, and that's why he got up that floor, and he got back up, and I think he won that fight. Do you know what I love as well, Brian? I, 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 you know, he's, he's, out, he's got, fight. He's he's got his fight. team. Yeah, he's got his team around him. 
you know what I love? I love his father. Yeah. I think his father comes out, says it as it is. Yeah. You know, you've got the fella down the road wanting fights. Oh, yeah, he just needs you, to do you, all that. You, you've done your piece he's there. Done, he's he's uh, been there, John. legend, been there, and his son's, what he's done with his son is unbelievable. It's yeah. just phenomenal. And Peter. Martin Adams has just got out of hospital um, due to testicle cancer. No. So he said, could no. you should give a shout out for Ad Cancer Awareness? Yeah, yeah, of course, course, yeah, of course people, yeah. people should get checked as well, men, especially prostate cancer. Yeah. A lot of people getting their 50s should get checked out, but it's a, it's a bad thing. But uh, yeah, I hope you get well soon. So yeah, yeah, yeah. God yeah, bless yeah. you. Yeah, same for me. Yeah. yeah. Hi, Carol. Hi, Carol. You're Hello, all right, Carol. You're all right. Yeah. Any more questions why I've interrupted them? Yes, yeah, she's rudely interrupted us. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nightmare trying to get a word in edgeways with these two, so hurry up while no. you've still got the chance. <laughs> uh, yeah. oh, so here we go. Somebody oh. said to right. me, um, let me have a look at this shout over the border, because there was about three questions there, but the... Yeah, because we have to um, question Terry get answer if you okay. where he's from. Wish you'd open the packet again, Terry. One of them <laughs> that's take off. And then another one said, where is it? Funny and enough. you asked Terry if he has any stories about Borough and Ayrson Park. I'm a Borough fan from Dublin. I was never I was never into football and you know, Johnny Woodgate's a lovely lad and there's uh, Joey Downing. Yeah, Stewie's a lovely, 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 lovely lads. Lovely but lad, yeah. I was never into football and all the lads. I, Brian Andrews and uh, John Galogley, his brother-in-law, took me to the Borough play in Aston Villa. And when they scored, they drag, I'm in the between them, dragged me about. And what's the matter with the score? Yeah. Didn't matter to me. I was yeah, never yeah. in the football. Well, I can tell you one story. My dad took me, dad was a football fan. He took me, me auntie lived in just near Essen Park. Mm. And we went and we went to see George Best play for Borough that night. Yeah. It was a my, my testimonial and, and, match. And there was that many women turned up. Yeah, I don't know what I was funny about. There but, was, yeah. 14 or 15, I went to see George West. He was absolutely outstanding for me. Best football of all time. Well, well a, a, a Borough legend, and I've got to say this, and like, you know, I had a joke with one of my pals, uh, Paul Manders, on the vault, him and my mate Robert Suggett. Hello, Robert, uh, Paul, anyway. Uh, on the vault, uh, Borough and all that, and all as I said, I know Manders, you pinch with Wiggum's sheepskin coat. He was renowned for walking on the top, but now sheepskin coat on. <laughs> But, Paul yeah. Metz has said it'll always be called over the border at Wim, not Midlevin, but yeah, I can't wait for the yeah, pub to reopen. That's right. Yeah, yeah, good. It's like, it's like well, people, they have pubs, they'll call it like, say, the they'll call it something else, they'll, they'll call it the Red Star or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got the Blue Diamonds. Yeah, call, they'll, yeah, they'll, yeah. They'll always keep it. It's called the generation. I like that, and people yeah. view it. Right, another question for you both. Um, do people try and start fights with you because of your notorious names or whatever? Not really, no. no. I wouldn't say that. We've had, no. I don't think we've had that, our, no. our, our generation shows respect, doesn't it? Yeah, really? yeah. Well, like but, this generation. Yeah. I feel sorry for the younger ones. Yeah, now. younger ones. Well, but when we had fights in the old days... I'm about, not quick with the tongue. Yeah. I'm getting myself out, out of ending. I'm not quick. I'm thinking the down the lead ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But no, I don't, we don't get in trouble. Uh, no. People, you know, like you are, Brian. I know I say they are. We're yeah. very approachable. And um, I know, see, when I'm going to pub with me, I'm, I like having, to I'm having, having that name. I'm not yeah. trying to pick myself yeah. up. Yeah. Obviously, who I am. I always go and I show the young lads, 20 year old. Yeah. Yeah. You know that you look on well, they keep up, son. Of course, you're you shaking hands. Uh, Thank you, I'm Brian, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And yeah. you go in and you make yeah. them feel at ease. You don't want them to scare you. What's well, good well, about that? Well, What's well, good no, about no, frightening no, people? Nothing, nothing good about nothing. it. So you know, what you do when you go and you meet more friends every time you go, nice, be polite. Because what they say, they'll tell the mate, hey, what are we going to do? Tell the night when I we went to the party and I was in the, I ended up cleaning the Oh, yes, that. it's a salt pan. Yeah, we went, me, me, you and um, Chris Yevo. Chris Yevo. Yeah. And uh, there was oh, Brian Cotton. Where have we been? We've been there, the Pepe Lunion. Me, that's, you, me, yeah, you and yeah, them. That's, anyway, that's we, right. we went in there, we went back in Bensley and uh, old mate. And we went in there. He was there. a big lad. He was a cop. He was a cop. Yeah, he was a yeah. cat. That was but he used to be an ex police. He? No, he, was, he, he, was, he was a nice fellow. Yeah, he was a nice fellow. But he got paranoid. Yeah, <laughs> he so, 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 yeah, well, I didn't know he was a cop or an no. ex cop or whatever yeah. he was. You know, I'm getting well, on to I, I ended up really washing up all the pots. You were washing the pots. Yeah. 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 We've got Britain's out of the post, allegedly. One of the hardest men in Britain. He's washing the pots. A little old chambermaid. But it's nice to be polite. And if you've done out wrong, I have to put my hand up. <coughs> That's a story, Brian, where people can get away. Get you, you know, but no, but they'll never all tell you that story. No, but Ireland is saying hi to you, both people from Dublin and Ireland. Oh, hi to yep. Dublin. Yep. I yep. just remember where my family originated I'm, from. I'm yeah. Irish descent myself. Bobby Sutherland, can you shout hiya? Hi there, Bobby. You all right, mate? Who was that? Bobby Sutherland. Yeah, hiya, Bobby. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Bobby. Oh, Rob. 
Can you say hi to Daryl Wilkinson, currently training in the gym after chemotherapy for six months? Oh, oh, good on oh, you, good on you, Daryl. Keep brilliant. it up, mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Amazing. Keep it up. Get yeah. yourself back strong. Please, Wish you all the best and we yeah. support you. Yeah, just don't go too far. Just take it easy, mate, because you will get it just slowly. And uh, that's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, good on you. Credit to you. But any, people any, like you, and you know. Like just like the me today, just... Uh, on my, my channel, my YouTube channel, we're up to nearly really six thousand now. But people just push the button, subscribe. It doesn't. You don't have to pay for nothing. It's all free, but it helps the channel go up and it helps us get to see more people. And yeah. They'll talk to that one, tell them we help people with mental and health. That's, that's yeah. the so, on, we're not just got. We're not just. just and that's so, what you said. We're not, we're just, we're not just on here to talk the day. Yeah. Emma and me will give them tip of the day for mental health, tip of the day for training. We've got all different things as. All different videos on there yeah i just so just yeah just subscribe please it's all free but i'd just like to say dear Dave Dave hello mate said, good evening chaps looking and sounding good as but uh, terry if you don't answer your phone now fair is over hello yeah. <laughs> i've been trying, trying to get yeah. hold of you dear boy i was in jail i was in jail <laughs> one out on one side and he was on the other and he was brown copper on everyone would show up in the jail we were talking because it's like about 60 in that side 60 this and they were, they were going it's a bit late now, Ryan, isn't it? And I said, we'll get the f in bed, kids. Yeah, I said, you'll yeah. you, just yeah. stay up and me and Dave will laugh. And then he put that, I've got a burning real fire with Johnny yeah, Cash. Yeah. Put it on about 10 times a row. Down, 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 down. The ring's on fire. He'll never, 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 never forget that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mark. Great lad. Mark, uh, I'm not on that number. I don't know my new number. You can get it off Brian. Yeah, yeah, contact us on the Facebook wherever, and we'll give it, get, give you a yeah, good laugh, But uh, yeah, I've been trying to get hold of you, mate. I still know your address, number 40, uh, Redwood. He's married now, isn't he? So yeah, yeah, good luck. He's married now, mate. Been good. Yeah. yeah, nice to hear you from you, Mark. Yeah. Take care, mate. Yeah, cheers, mate. So, uh, Dublin, uh, Ireland, Dublin, Brian, were you born in Ireland and Terry uh, and whereabouts, if you were? No, I wasn't born in Ireland, but me, me, me great great grandparents were born there. Uh, in Ireland, and the names were given, and Irish is M C G I V E R N, and the Scottish version is M A C. So Mac is Scottish, and M C is Irish. But my family moved to Scotland to get work up there, <coughs> uh, and I was born in Scotland. My dad was Scottish, and my mum was Scottish. Well, that's what they done. That's so what they done. But doesn't they? On Cork Bridge. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm from over the border in Middlesbrough, which is uh, so people who don't know, it's called Saint Ildas, yeah. where Middlesbrough began, and how Middlesbrough began is because. Uh, Middlesbrough has the biggest implosion of people coming looking for work. The Scotch, the Irish, the Welsh, and you know English coming to Middlesbrough to find work. Right. They found Iron Ore in the hills, uh, Balcombe Vaughan. Um, massive, massive Irish Catholic community. Um, my mum was a Catholic, my dad was a Protestant, but um, I went to Protestant school. But massive. But I have a grandmother called Katie Carney, um, famous name in, in in Ireland. But yeah, oh. we're Irish descent. Yeah. All my former family have got there's thousands of in there, Court Bridge called McGivern. So and our friend Gordon Gallus will have Gordon, it's yeah. Brilliant lad from there, Court Bridge. This uh Mickey Murphy said, Do you ever worry about your past if it comes back to bite your asses, guys? I'm not being funny. No, so I no. just said you have never done anything wrong to no, for people to want no. to be I haven't done any I've only had fights with people, this fights and the people I've had fights with are either dead. Or befriended me, and we're all friends now. Uh, you know, the, the, you, know, you don't do you, the gangs and things. No, like that. if you're good and decent, yeah. People see me and they see you, they smile. Yeah, and that 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 is. Well, I've lived in this house. I've lived in this area now for since 1994. And I've never had no trouble at my house. Never, mm. not a thing, nothing. So. Uh, Raymond, man, how are you and Terry? Oh, Raymond, yeah, great. <laughs> we have to yeah. mention Raymond. Yeah. How's He's, the dogs? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Raymond, so we love it a bit. Yeah. <coughs> I've still got to get my car sorted next week. I'll come and see you, but yeah, Raymond's good kid. We had some fun in the old days, didn't we, Raymond? Don't be saying, don't be saying that one here. I'll have to get my Madison involved. But, David, uh, yeah, are you there? Yeah, yeah. but he was being dead, me and um, Raymond, good for speedy. Yeah, God speed. bless him. Yeah. Lovely lads. I told uh, you, didn't I, the week, the taxi driver yeah. said I'm speedy's um, brother in law. Yeah. Yeah. I said, I'm going with my brother's yard. He said, funny enough, you know, I'll tell you, I know where you are. Yeah. He said, I turned in there yesterday to turn on. Yeah. I was talking about speedy, God bless him, you know. Yeah. How long has he been gone? Twenty odd years. Yeah. Twenty odd years. Yeah, I think ninety. I got out ninety seven jail. I think it was run run at that time. I think it was, it's sad. But what, yeah. what people don't realise is that if you keep mentioning, if it keeps the spirit strong. Yeah. And you know, and I think there's so much nastiness out there. There's so many people. He said, I said, someone said, yeah. get on with your life. Yeah. Help people. Have a bit of compassion. 
and that's not a bad thing. It's a good thing in my book, isn't yeah. But no, I don't wish anyone harm. I don't no, wish I anyone don't. hurt. No, I, I don't. don't. I've got, I've got probably I've had arguments and things like that, but it's just an argument. Just let it go. You know, you, I remember Van Damme's message. I couldn't have Van Damme, you know, Van Damme, done, done a series, yeah. Yeah. and it was a series he done. It was while we trained and all this stuff. Yeah. He was driving down the road when uh, we're not running with this oh. bloody airfield. Um, he was running, driving down the road, sorry, and this car cut him up, nearly hit him. He went, here, I'll smash your face, and she went, just let it go, you'll never see him again. I thought, she's right, I used to be the same, yeah. we shouted yeah. at people, right? It's just, 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 walking just, down the road, I've had that, walking yeah. down the road, uh, with your bed, and someone shouted out the window, I'll kill you. Yeah, yeah, it's just, just let <laughs> it go, it's just a lot of rubbish. And Someone said, hi, Brian, you obviously don't know me, but I grew up in Hutley Spring and I always had admiration for you and what you stood for, but I love what you stand for now. I grew up on the Rainton site, Rainton site. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you call him? Really call him? He's called Alistair McKay. Alistair, yep. you know our friend from there, Betsy. <laughs> yeah. So this goes out about my friend Betsy, well, he's my nephew's friend, and I met him through my, ne my nephew, Craig Nettler, and that's a very good friend. Yeah. You shared the room together in the hotel, Kirk Levin. Yeah. 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 Cheers, Bets, cheers, yeah. Thanks for that. Yeah. Appreciate Thanks, it. Mate. There's another yeah. lad up there, Donald Carr, I remember. Uh, I was in the pool school with him. That was yeah. when I was an naughty boy as well. He's a... Thomas Hawkins said you're looking good, lads. You're Thank on you. early tonight. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, that 20 quid will be in the post the morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've got a date later on. <laughs> yeah. Keep up the good work, everyone's saying. Yeah, Thank we you, will. Thank we you will. very yeah. much. Yeah. Thank you. That, uh, friendship and loyalty with respect is more important than money anyway. Well, I've, we've always yeah. been like that. Yeah, we've course. always been like that. Yeah. And you know, it, it, it does, I don't look up or down to anyone. You certainly don't. And if you can help someone, I keep repeating that. Yeah. You know, because I genuinely sincerely mean it. Yeah. Yeah. Can you say oh. hi to Dan Story? Hi, right, Dan Story, mate. Hello, Dan. Hello, you're mate. I hope you're having a great weekend, mate. Yeah. I look fantastic. Hello, Dan. What was the most people? Um, oh, hold on. There, what's that? Carol said she loves the banter. Yeah. Well, she's old school, isn't she, like us? So yeah. she knows what's going on. Great, Erin. You're so happy you are, Brian. Really happy. Really happy. Um, that's because my wife as well. Not just because of Terry. <laughs> yeah, I thought we were only caught. Just Not in front of the people. <laughs> Not in front of our audience. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, keep the questions coming. <clears throat> yeah, so, yeah, getting back to the people. Um, about people getting jobs and things. You're right, because we lived in Redcombe and Emma. Yep. And when I went there as a kid, when I was 18, I used to go as a kid when I was like seven, five, six years old. My nan has lived uh, all be close to live at Redcombe. And I moved over there when I was 17, 18. I got a flat and I stayed in uh, the Lakes Estate, they call it, with my Uncle Tam and Tram. Yeah, you know, well, Uncle Tam, John. I've met, I've met the three of them. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, I'm not disrespect Sam and John. Frank's my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Frank. We'll be meeting up again yeah. soon. Yeah. I think you'll be the stocky arms at Red Yeah. to so, drink some me. Yeah, so yeah, I went there as a kid, and that's where I started my, my training. The bodybuilding, that's where yeah. I had the jobs and all. But neither, most of the people in there were all Scottish, loads and loads yeah, of Scottish yeah. were there. Well, 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 as well as certainly with Red there's a lot of people dig there as well who are working in the chemicals. Yeah, that's right. Like, yeah, 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 like, that. like the, like the, the yeah. contractors and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Loads of Scottish there. Uh, what do you call them when they work on the scaffolders? Yeah, and then yeah. what steel directors after right, yeah, yeah. Dublin Island has said people rob for money, but like is free. Charlie, um, Darren Elton, I live right next to Court Bridge, Brian. Have right. you ever been back, mate? Yeah, I've been back. I've not been back since I was a kid. Uh, from Monklands, town head. That's where my family live. Michael Clarkin again, another one saying, love, love now, happy to see you are, Brian. Oh, How brilliant. was taxing changed today? There is no tax in these days, mate, because yeah, what it was, in the old days, there was, only, there was only so many drug dealers in every town. Now there's a thousand in every street. Every street's got a drug dealer, but the thing is as well, um, the, the ones now, there's cameras everywhere, and they've got the police, you know, so yeah. it's not worth it. It's, even if you can make a million pounds of it, it's not worth it, because the, the police have got that much technology. Like you've just, we wouldn't uh, do it anyway. Yeah, we I wouldn't do it anyway. I wouldn't advise anyone to do it. The tax and finished, it's uh, an old, old thing. But uh, people the people said, who are doing now, they're not lasting to me, they're getting chopped up. Yeah, and, killed. The people are because, and the thing is, as well, as well, as well, well as that, Carol, because someone was repeatedly asking, um, uh, how many people could Lee Duffy fight on his own or at once, but he kept repeating it, yeah. but I ignored it, and then Carol said, um, 
Carol said, Charlie fell off. There's many who were in front of him. Oh, I wanted to bumble him. LOL. Yeah, 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 yeah. Carol. I've got to mention, this is World Fall, I forget, is that uh, I had some absolutely great times with Lee. But my last memory of Lee is him stood in the Havana, um, in the DJ stand, you know, bobbing up and down. And, uh, He's one that gets squats, remember them? Yeah, yeah. And Lee Addison. Lee Addison, what a fantastic lad. Good looking lad. And someone made a comment on the uh, Alan Atwas, our pal, who runs the um, yeah, Havana lad. Facebook page. Yeah, yeah. And um, cracking lad, someone put a comment on that um, Yui, the DJ, made the Havana, and Atwas rightly said it wasn't just one person who had done it. Now, I used to work in there. I was the maintenance uh, officer. You were, yeah, that's all right. Yeah, you were, you were yeah, I fixed the toilet seat. I put it on my neck and do yeah. a bit again. And, <laughs> but, um, and Alan Atwal said that, uh, no, it was a silly comment because what it was is that everybody was part of it. It was an era where the the ecstasy, yeah. the music, and it was class, you know, and yeah. it was just a marvellous night out. But, you know, Apple, you're right. Everyone did play a part, yeah. even the maintenance officer. Yeah. <laughs> I took a scooter on the dance floor one night and Lee Addison, God bless him, they go, they go quadrophenia, and I'm <laughs> beeping the horn and like, <laughs> on, the, on, you know, motor school. Fire, fire, he's just out, Lee, all the time, yeah, yeah. the show. Darren Alton right. said, thanks for the reply, mate, being a follower well before you came onto social media, it's brilliant how you've changed your life around all oh, the rest thank of you, thank, thank you, good, good, very much. good, yeah, credit yeah, to you, Brian, you know. Yeah, I just like, look, with week, with me and my wife now, 39 people we've saved now for committing suicide, we can't tell you the names, obviously. But then people out there, we, we're with you and God's with you, and we've told you that. We've helped them through the church and Jesus, and we've talked them down. We've got them. We've got quite a few people. Um, That's great, and I, get, you get, know, getting into the church and they realise that when they've got God on their side, that they've got a, a, a willingness and God. You're not on your own when God. And you know the credit of what you're saying there, what yeah. you're all saying there is that you've done that. You've helped them and that, and you yeah. support them. They've come out that the other side of the tunnel. How many people are there? Exactly. That's big, the big, and that's yeah. the good. That's the good. Oh, big question. Big question. Big. Right. Question for both lads. Looking back on your lives, what's one bit of advice you could give to young people? Thank you for your time. Thank you for that. Do you want to go first? You go first. Well, right. Thank you very much, sir. I'll take yours as better than mine. The, 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 uh, the regrets. What did you say? Regret, did you say? Uh, no, no. Right. Just advice. Question for both advice. Lads. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, what's advice, advice? Advice. Don't, you don't have to uh, explain yourself to anyone. You don't have to commit acts to impress anyone. Be your normal self. Don't worry about what anyone's got to say, because you were the one you, you know, it's your life. And you know, like I, I've, I've uh, done. I won't go into detail, but I've done some naughty, naughty stuff for other people. I've done out of friendship, and I think it's like, what a waste. If I could have put more energy in the goodness, yeah, you know, which I do, I do on a regular basis. Yeah. You know, it's all negativeness. Yeah. So any young, young um, person out there, be yourself. Just yeah. be your normal self. You don't have to kiss anyone's ass. Yeah. Just be yourself. I just I think the one thing you shouldn't get into is drugs for a start. Certainly don't not. even start on a joint or anything. It starts at that. that escalates and escalates. Don't start selling drugs for the people. Don't be a sheep and follow. He yeah. said, "Oh, I'm making twenty quid here." But you're running about for something for twenty quid and they're making thousands of pounds. You're going to go to jail for a long yeah. time. Yeah. They call the mule, and you know it's not worth it. And the most important things you've got to do: get in a bit of sport, whether you like it or not, walking, running. Anything that anything so it keeps you keeps your mind. But if you can do stuff where you you, you using your like bit of box and things like that, great training can help you a lot with mental health. If you have got mental health problems, don't be uh, um sitting there in, in fear and silent because there's people out there you can ask for help and just loads of people you can ask me, I'll help you. Uh, and yeah, just just, just live your life uh, every day as if it was your last day. Don't think, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do it. Just, just live your life every day. You've Be got happy. a few good questions yeah. now, some funny ones. Right, one said, Aya, fair play, Brian and Terry, question, what would you have liked to have been career, what, career, career-wise, if not the criminality where you went, uh, what would you have liked to have been, <laughs> well, like, yeah, if you could have been anything? Well, I would like to be <laughs> Albert Pierpoint. <laughs> the last, hang, the last hangman of Britain. Hey, me, anyway, this, is, this, story, this is true, this. Yeah. Albert Pierpoint. He hanged a lot of the, the Nazis in, yeah. after the war. Well, tell us the last and, one. And, yeah. He hanged a lot of, he hanged a lot of people. Rapper. That's what, that's what yeah. he done. So it anyway, he was in what you used to get years ago when you were in, say, Durham or any jail. He'd go and he'd get paid to hang people. And, Five uh, pence or ten pence. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, a ten pound thing he got. Ten pound yeah, used to get. Yeah. So, But if he didn't turn up, if they got a reprieve, he didn't get yeah. nothing. Yeah. But he had to stay in the cell 
up from the night, yeah. whatever cell he slept in. But anyway, getting to the point, so this lad, he was a bit slow. So he said, I don't want a breakfast this morning. So he didn't have his breakfast, so he said to Albert Pierre Point, <laughs> Mr. Pierre Point, you can't hand me. He said, why? Because I haven't had my breakfast. You've got to have a hearty breakfast before you get hand. He said, I'm here so to make sure you don't have your dinner. <laughs> <laughs> That's a true story. That's how roast was he was. <laughs> but you know what he done? He admitted in the end that uh, Anne Ratty and uh, what they call it, the, the two lads. Um, yeah, the, the kid on the roof. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I know what you mean. But kid. anyway, yeah. anyway, that... You know, they, they, they let him have it. Let they him have it. Have it. Yeah, and it was yeah. never said upon him. Well, apparently, no, the, police, policeman. the policeman said he made it up. Yeah, corrupt police. Because he was on the roof and he was robbing it. He was yeah. 16 year old, the one who shot the policeman. Yeah. The other one was 19. The one who was 19 had mental health problems. Yeah. So they couldn't hang the 16 year old. So they're not going to hang that poor kid. Terrible, terrible. And the, and the cop, because the law had to be shown to be done. The policeman, 30, 40 years later, admit before he died, he said, I just made it up. Yeah. The law had to be seen to be done. The old gangster films were saying, let him have it like James Cagney mean shoot someone. Yeah. But he went, give him it, give him the good yeah, he meant. You won't set me alive, my James yeah. Cagney. Uh, mm. So I think that... Um, I'm on top of the world, Ma. Yeah, yeah. Um, but marvellous. Uh, you know, but what I, I, advice can you give for someone who is stuck in a conflict, uh, one up manship that's got out of control? Where do you stop it and draw the line? Well, I, don't I think it takes a mediator. I think I it takes think, a friend. Yeah. Yeah. Someone Probably loyal. Members, both basically. friends with both parties yeah. saying, come on, are we? What are you getting you, out of you, you can't go because if you're arguing with that person non stop, you need something to be in the middle. Yeah, I probably go around. Look, show a bit of logic. Brian said, this, of logic. Said, Yeah, and just, yeah. just the extra yeah. try to, That's yeah. the only way to resolve. I've, I've been in feuds, and you know, I've been, I've been, silly, I've, 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 I've had things where people have had fights and they both had a fight. And he's yeah. someone I've gone around to look, how we you can't go to press charges, See, but, the thing, the, but you're not with, I'm not saying I've done it to threaten them. I've gone on because I'm their friend, so yeah. you were entitled to give an opinion. I've yeah. gone on and said to people, you've had a fight, you got beat last night, you're a top kickboxer or whatever. You've got and you, the and proof, you brushed you know. him up. I said, yeah. he went, yeah, you're right, Brian. He's went and changed the statement and just said it was a fair fight. <coughs> people I get think... beat. Instead of just taking on the chin and thinking, well, we yeah. beat. Um, yeah. If you're going to go back, go and have another fight. If you got beat by whatever, go on, go on, go on. I have a straight strain yeah. of things like that, but that's what we used to do. But, uh, uh, but I think for these days, people... It's just uh, gone escalated. If, if crazy. people out there, people out there think that they've been aggrieved, they're entitled to to have have, have the say. Yeah. Um. You know, I've I've had I've had a campaign on for thirty years. I'm not going to go into it. Yeah. Thirty years I've been fighting the case. And anyone out there knows me. You know, they know the story about my little boy. And I was there from the you first know, day. You know, eight year old I... boy left for dead by yeah. a paedophile, yeah. and that. Yeah. You know. But I'm I was still fighting. I, I, was the first, I was one of the first people to come round. Yeah, yeah. Else, but he was the Lee Duffy, Lee I come round. And I came with a day. Lee, Woody, been that. You remember Lee, that? Lee yeah. wanted to kill him. Yeah. You know, but that's yeah. another story. Yeah. But yeah, and I just feel as though. So, but, you know, I'm still fighting the case. So what I'm saying is that if people feel as though they're being aggrieved, you're entitled to have your say. But I think if it's nonsense, uh, you need the third party. Yeah, yeah. Come on, are we? We're all friends together. No, no, I'll say this as well, you know, Brian. I fell out with people. And um, I've even said to you, and I said that. Uh, not Tommy Addison. I said, Tommy, because I fell out and don't you stop talking. Yeah. And I would never do that because I think... Uh, it's another thing. Where I always... Yeah, I, I think I always, uh, like, I, you get old, I, it doesn't matter. I, I, it doesn't I, matter. I, I, you might have someone you get on with, but I might not like that yeah, person. Yeah. But it doesn't stop me. Don't tell say, me not to talk to Tommy Smith. Yeah. And you say, don't talk to David yeah. Johnson. I've had, that. I've had people say that to me. But, why are you know, talking to me? You're my friend. Yeah, that's just like a five-year-old child. Whatever your politics is, it's not my politics. You know, and I just think that Friendship's a marvellous thing, and I just feel as though that people, you know, if it's, if, if, nice if it's unnecessary me. crap, get a say. When I'm out, if I'm out, if I bump into somebody, I spill the way, oh, I'm sorry, mate. And you'll have to buy them a drink or just yeah. say sorry about that, or if you're in the wrong, you do something. You know what, a, lot, a, lot of it, a lot of it, the type of people say, oh, there's that so-and-so. It's showing weakness. There's so It's not showing so weakness, it's more. No, it's being polite. It's being polite. And sometimes people, people take the kindness as weakness, but it's shame on them. That's their own fault. I think this social, you know, social media to me, I've never done it, you know, with yeah. yourself, Brian, yeah. and then, you yeah. know, I can hardly wet the phone. Uh, but um, I think it's a positive thing, as long as it is done in a positive way. We can all say he said, I said, someone said, and yeah. and 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 cross fire each other. It doesn't matter. There's no one in this for world. Me, <laughs> to, to all that, no one you know. in this world was had an argument with someone or been in the wrong yeah. themselves yeah. or been drunk and done something yeah. stupid and just go back and just say, look, I'm sorry about that. Look, look, it's look, easy to apologise, yeah. but some people take it. I'm not saying sorry to him. How dare they? I'm not sorry. Well, they're yeah, just yeah, it's stupid yeah. the way they go on. Instead of just saying, look, you live your life and we live our life. Yeah. How just dare stupid. he? Yeah, perfect. I think I'm off air, but I think he's How dare he? Yeah, yeah. How very dare you? Yeah, Little Britain. 
yeah, but yeah, uh, think, yeah, yeah people think, just uh, have grievances over nothing, don't they? Stu? Like, well, it, well, I can tell you the case, yeah, you know, yeah. um, Paul Salter, God bless him, God bless him, yeah. Uh, sorry, sorry, Mickey Salter, Mickey Salter yeah. God bless him. Paul's his brother, yeah, yeah, Paul, yeah. Right, Paul, Paul if, you, if you're watching, Mick, Mickey Salter, yeah. Um, when they had trouble with the neighbor, the neighbor next to them, them stabbing him, killing yeah, him, yeah. Over nothing. Yeah, Stupid. over, over saving someone's life for, for nothing of it. And you've said Stupid. it how many times have you said it like kids when they blocked up and you said how many seconds it takes to do yeah. that? No, and you're Some right. You kill and it's one. just getting that through to them. Yeah, it's just uh, what we're trying to do that now. Obviously, we've been asked to go to the prisons, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, Doncaster, we've got a lad who is the main local in yeah. the North East. Yeah, so great. We've got that to go and we're going to the schools. We've got Some... quite a few. We've got about eight schools we've been asked for. Oh, oh, which all police, coming together oh, now. Oh, police. You're, you're some we've had, we've, we've had a couple. We've had two mayors uh, contact us wanting to help. If you need anything, just give us a shout. We've had MPs on the thing. We've had people from America. I'd watch him. He's a bit of a backstabber. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we've had the um, people from Australia on the thing. Yeah. It's just phenomenal. Well, I'm just well, down on the watching the cricket. And, yeah. yeah, brilliant. Just, just to somebody all that way, just to say hello to you. It's fantastic. I always answer everyone, talk to everyone, and be polite to everyone and anyone. And I think we, that's we, the best we, way to live we, your life. We've been out, Brian. We've had some great times. Great times deck collecting. Great times in the rough of it. Great times, you know. We know before we get there what they're going to come out with. And we look at each other. We used to bounce off each other as we don't today. But people would uh, come up with all the excuses. You know, on the auntie's budgie's dad, I think one might have been. Oh, yeah. The auntie's budgie's dad is in the hospital to get his wings off. All the excuses in the world. The next minute they're in the yeah. drinking. Yeah, we don't yeah. want the money. It's not about the money, it's about the principle. Yeah. And Brian, I said, that's good. I couldn't agree with you more. And I said, no, I agree with you as well, Brian. Right. <laughs> like, you keep the principle, we'll have the money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's only a couple of times that. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but fun. Taxi drivers once, remember? We got it with them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Said, we don't want anything. You just keep it. Yeah, that's but right. we had to do a favour back if you remember. Yeah, the guy yeah. was, the other guy was decent. We said, "You yeah. take, right? I don't want the money yours. I was right. Yes. Thank you very much." Yeah, it's just, it's it was all good fun, all the laugh, yeah. and um, but we know, never, we never went to people's house, kicked doors yeah. in. We never threatened people. We just said, "Look, do, do you own the money? You don't want a lot of people come around horrible and especially you know you owe the money. Yeah, if you owe the money, do the right yeah, thing. Yeah. We can sort out." What you know, five hundred pounds, just pay fifty pounds. We we, we always went with. No, we always went. Look, how do you want to resolve this? We can help and support you. I mean, we were lying our pockets. Put it this way: it wasn't. Don't pay. We'll take it away. It wasn't. We were like them. Like them bailiffs. Yeah, we're not like them. Don't pay. Take it away. I'm not one wearing one of them uniforms. Yeah, it was fun. It was laugh. But yeah, people think. They've done this, they've done that. We always went being polite. We never, we never had any screaming or bawling. No, not not once. I don't recall. We and don't. Long... Have you got any debts? Oh yeah, right. he don't it mean that. Uh, well, that was easy. What you said. Wait a minute. We've had to go through all this stuff in the yeah. streets of all the bands we've gone through and everything to get we, that reputation together. We, we, we used to laugh. We we'd have a laugh. We'd go to one house. And we'd see the curtain twitching. Yeah. <laughs> and we'd go to one house and they had that problem with them over the road and the curtain would be twitching. Yeah. <laughs> you knock at the door. And <laughs> but you know, any job when you first start it, it's quite hard. But in the end, you realise the right words to trigger words. You can tell by the body language. You can tell by if they're going to cause trouble. You just know all, all the stuff. You can tell if they've got a weapon on them. You just know when you're in that game, it's like anything in the side. So the only time I ever, what well, I can recall, the only time I ever really got angry, was that idiot with the uh, with the horses up with them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had a horse. They had a horse in the garden. I said, that was the only time horse. I got angry. I thought it was um, out in the West Texas town. Oh, look at that wood stage. Just yeah. coming on over and here. A horse doing them things. Two or three horses. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We well, only little and went on the thingy. One of them Shetland ponies that went went on there. Yeah, Sam Cowell that was singing. He said, "Why you, Tom Barry?" He said, "I'm only a little, little, little horse." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, little, I was Steve. Uh, no, I was Steve. Beg your pardon. Um, me. Just like to say, our friend Manyok. Absolutely. Yeah. Hello, Manyok. Simon, Hello, Simon Ambler, thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, and our friend you, Alan Video Man from Liverpool. <laughs> AJ yeah. Reviews Films. Get on his channel. Yeah, he's a brilliant kid. He's trying to build his channel up. Oh, he's yes. bought with the day. He's, he's got Yeah, he's a lovely Yeah, hello, yeah. Alan. Uh, nice yeah. to speak to you, mate. He's our stepson now. Yeah. yeah well, I'm not a doctor, your son. That's yeah. the same. <laughs> <laughs> I've got enough kids. He can be your Uncle Terry. Yeah, Uncle Terry, yeah. Well, you get me to Christmas. He's a scouser. 
Anyway, he's, listen, he's good uh, Robert Sugar, I've already give a shout out to yeah, Robert. Love Robert. I think I might be leaving <laughs> you too in a three piece suite. I hope you're still working in the, the shop. <laughs> Yeah, we need you three big feet, Robert. I've got, I've, got, I've got to say hello to me, me, me childhood pal. I've been in trouble all my life. Norman Victor Cornelius Howard. Oh, yeah, you've got, got to get that in there, yeah, Cornelius. Yeah. I thought it was yeah. Yeah, Cornelius. I'm in the doghouse again, Nosh. <laughs> the missus has hung me out. And she got me an escort. Yes, the boys in. He's got the world record. He's difference. got the world record kicked out of the house more than anyone in history. I don't tell her, I love her. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be back in back tonight. Oh, no. You've got to be gone. Just for Leslie. Oh, you won't. <laughs> I'll have to do my torture in the own house. Yeah. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's back and forth more than there. Uh, it's like yeah. that. No, the sea's home and away. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. So, what, what's, um, what do you think's going on? Well, now, now for the, yourself and you tell you to go now. Come no, no, well, what's di what? I'll just ask you, what's different from now than thirty years ago? Well, yeah. I've still got that determination. I don't know when to stop. I don't know when to give in. Yeah, um, which I'm not that agree with that. but. Yeah. I, I, um, you don't like injustice, do you? No, I hate injustice. Yeah, um, I, I hate that. I love a wind up. I love, love a bit of crack in yeah. the pub. And, uh, but no, I don't, I don't. Well, when, you, when do you do it? And then you know that somebody's going to Oh, we know the, it, but the level. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah we'll stop. Say, I'll buy anyone sure. a drink. I'll be yeah. having a bit of fun. I would never uh, blatantly just, um, humiliate someone. No. No, we can all have a no, laugh and a bit of fun. Never, never and after I say in the pub, I, I said to, he's gone now, the lad. I can't even think the kid's name. Um, Last door, they'd sit there quiet in the corner. And I said to him, I went and sat with him. I was talking to the barman. He's always on his own. So I said, Do you want to? I said, ah, I'm going to have to ask. Do you want a pint? No, I'm all right. Thank you. All right. And anyway, a couple of them, I'd known him for a few years, seen him in the pub. And anyway, he passed away. God bless him. But uh, just a quiet, inoffensive man. But what, what my point I'm saying is that it's nice just to make someone feel a little bit special. Look at that, how much my wife loves me. Look at that. So I, think, I love you, she said, from the back, from behind the computer. What a lovely girl, isn't she? Yeah. Look at that, I'm left out again. So, so, yeah, everyone who comes here, from Terry, from Marty Turner, you know, Robbo, we, we, we went last week, we got Robbo. Yeah. We had a nice yeah, day. Peter, we had, hello, Peter. We had chips hello, Marty. That. Marty bought us chips and stuff, and we had a yeah. a day, didn't take me the pair yeah. of stones. We had a couple of oranges. Where's my chips? Yeah, Robbo, six, six. enough of you, Marty. Marty, tell that was six, 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 the baby self. What about when you dropped the pint? But I dropped the pint all over the table, right? Was this? Robo and I'm squeezed it out of the tissue and got his pint back. <laughs> the tissue on the table. He had Barry's yeah. um, chip thing in it. I yeah, chips. he had chips <laughs> in the <ring> of his pint. <laughs> it was funny. We went, yeah. we went, we went to there down the, the north gear. Yeah. Looked at the old cup of the little. Is that tunnel still there? No, the, can you go not, down there now? Yeah, you can still go down, but you stay out. Where's the, where's the, where's the, where's the <laughs> What are they called? The fishman's cabin. Cabins. We took a load of pictures today. Oh, yeah, what are they yeah, called? Paddy's yeah, Hole, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Lovely to live there, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. There's some, there's some yeah. kids doing a bit of storing down there. One of them yeah, got caught yeah, up. Yeah, but it, yeah. But, um, yeah, we went down there. Then we went down to Salt Bear. Lovely down Salt Bear. I used to go there, Winkland, when I was a kid. Yeah. Then go up the farms on the cliff. Oh, mate, Vic has the some men's place there. Don't yeah. need a fish shop. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, big, big, it's a little Victorian town, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely Salt Bear. Yeah, yeah, and it's, it's, it's like going back to, like you said, well, you have the Victorian week, like, it's just like going that's, back. Yeah. Well, do you know what I want to do? I want to go to the, uh, I want to go to Whitby, I want to go to the Goth weekend. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I said to me, Mrs. I'll I'll take myself, yeah. I think that might be a no-no now, because no, no, she flung me out. I've well, got the boys. I've been, I've been on the day, you know, before I go to the night, I've gone to the night. I've oh, yeah, okay, like, so I'm not. Yeah, but I think, you know, I, 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 love, I love the individuality. Fun. You know, they, they express themselves yeah. and good on them. Yeah, but look at that, that, that young kid, that young kid that got, got killed and kicked all over the two of them, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. Killed for being a goth. Leave people alone. That's people are expressing themselves. We're not all the same. We're all yeah, different. Exactly. Some people are different. Yeah, want leave to be people different. be. They different. They want to have pink hair and yellow hair. Yeah. But they're not like so. Yeah, exactly. I did. <laughs> 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 like blue recipe. Yeah. Don't be saying any of the others. <laughs> Again. <laughs> I'm going to just, just, just thank yeah. Kenny Williams for doing hair for the year. He's a little bit friend. <laughs> And we shouted out to, to Tom, yes, Tom, Tom, oh, yes. Tom, our to... absolutely brilliant lad. Thank you, Kes, for doing that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Tommy, Tommy, still on holiday. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's still away. Well, I wish he's, you all the best, Tommy. He's doing yeah. well, he'll be out so, soon. Yeah, yeah, it'd be great. It's just, uh, yeah, everyone up there, we just love everyone. Just hope everyone's okay. Get, get, get to the gym, do a bit of training, eat properly. Stop lazing, like staying in bed all day, depressed because it's a worst thing you how, do. How did it go with, the, with John Elite, you were telling me? John, lovely bloke, yeah. lovely, lovely yeah. bloke, yeah, absolutely bloke, he's, he's on obviously 
on yeah. the YouTube channel on yeah. there. Good on it, good I'm on from, him. From from um, yeah. Albanian, he is um, really, really tough lad, tough, tough, yeah. tough. Lovely man. Not scared at all, one, but he's got a heart of uh, a lion, but he's soft as well. Like, gentleman, you know, isn't he? Absolute well, that, that's, gentleman. That's good and not absolutely brilliant with kids. He wants to help kids. He's got a couple of come to see us when he comes, yeah. but he's helping kids over there. Don't do what I've done. Brand right. That we we're speaking to the children, yeah. we, he wouldn't want his children to be what he done. I wouldn't <coughs> I want the kids up to there and maybe nephews and nieces and things. So, yeah, we don't so want it's not worth it. Everybody, every, every, as people get older in life and they realize yeah, they what you know, you do, yeah. you, a, a, a lot of things. What is as you get older, you don't produce you mellow, the yeah, what you, yeah. you produce naturally, but yeah. it's um, Mellows so you don't, it does smell you, it does. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, I think I'm in a bet, me, I, I, I'm. I'm in a good place, you know. And you look good. I'm you in a good place good. in my life, and I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe, you you maybe, look good. Maybe 20, I'll come back. <laughs> Get that garden finished, well. That's fun. Yeah. Yeah, we had good years. John Green was like when he yeah. used to do yeah. the doors. He was so old after when I was younger. I was only a bit of a I've got to see, I've got to touch with John. So, yeah, 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 the book, Brian Cock and Lee Duffy. The tax on the T side still um, got it here. If you need it, anyone we can deliver it, post it. Um, we've also got a lot of books being uh, nearly a thousand being sold now, but flu. Um, we've got the original one with myself in the old days when I was crazy, all the mad stories, the tax man. Um, still available if you want it. Did one with Charlie Bronson, Salty Fitness. That's that's available as well. Plan. Yeah, so I'll give you one of them, Charlie. Um, just not out the garden, we. <laughs> and then, um, well, we, we, we get the fire going, but the rubbish is left. <laughs> Charlie, sorry about yeah, that. Same that day. Yeah, yeah. 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 It'll be out soon. Yeah. Uh, Charlie, yeah. last time I spoke to you, uh, I was at uh, Steve's house, and I sang you the song. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was funny. But he said, yeah. I'm loving it, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah, you'll be getting for all. <laughs> Wish you all the best, mate. Pal, murderers, rapists and everything. Yeah. Then in less than him. That man's done his, he's done his course, deal. He, he should be person. released. I mean, obviously it's disgusting what they're doing to him. He's not gone in there. And I don't think they're making his life any easier. Anyone. I not... think they make put obstacles in front of, of him. Of course so he can see. Yeah. yeah. You can't, yeah. he's got the bite of his thumb. Yeah. I'm going through the same thing. Yeah. With certain parties, I'm the same, and uh, yeah. orchestrated by uh, yeah. the so-called protectors of the Tay side. Yeah, they've orchestrated it. Yeah, you know, they've got me down to killing people. God knows what, but that's yeah. another story. Yeah, but um, but you but I say that when you want, sometimes you got to just take it on the chin and take it and take it. And then when you get in bed, be angle is difficult. Yeah, as well. of course. Yeah, so you got you got to try and I, I do. I, I manage it now. I, I couldn't manage it one down. Yeah. I just wanted revenge. Revenge is not the answer. I believe that uh, I'm in a better place. I think when you get rid of it, you're going to do a rent deal properly. You know, so it'll come right. If you, there, there you, if go, you put yeah. faith, you know, you put faith and it comes right. It comes oh, God, right. God, God, if you pray to God, like I've been doing and Jesus and that, and you, you just keep believing that he just as he will serve justice because uh, vengeance is ours, says the Lord. So, well, I think today you have done a brilliant podcast to you, Sue. Yeah, I think it's been absolutely marvellous. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, so we've got three minutes left, I'd say, to finish. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, but oh, speedy Gonzalez, why positive, don't you come home? <laughs> positive, positive thing for people to... Uh, 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 on a positive yeah, note, the yeah, finishing note, yeah. to any young kids out there, any young lads, yeah, you know, we are very approachable. If anyone wants to ask me any advice, or ask Brian any advice, approach me in the street, a very approachable man, and say, Brian's the same. Don't follow the path we've followed. It's a waste of time. You know, I, I can honestly say this, even though I've said what's gone on in my life with my son and whatever else, I've had police officers pull me and said, keep at the Terry, keep reflect on us all. So don't look at them all as though they're all bad, even though, you know, I've got issues with them and issues yeah. right up the chain of command. But look, at life's a better place to be living and living comfortably and living without trouble, without fear, without bullying and abuse. Yeah. And a lot of it's keyboard warriors doing things and yeah. nasty things coming on, telling us about ourselves, what, yeah. you know. Yeah. We don't need that. No. We don't. We don't need to uh, respond to no. negative thoughts. Just keep positively going and just keep yourselves right. Get yourselves a job. Get yourself training. Whatever you do, do the best of your ability. And that's yeah. my positive note. Yeah. But thank yeah. you very much, everyone yeah. who's yeah. listened in. Well, I'll let you yeah. have a go. I just uh, <laughs> yeah, just uh, remember Jesus is real. If you need any help, don't forget to subscribe. It's free. Get your friends to subscribe. We can help more people. 
I just want, uh, wish everyone a nice bank holiday. Uh, take care. God bless you all. And also, before you go, it's for my little nephew, Roman. I love you, son. See you soon. Well, I enjoyed it. Well,